Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Sunday the 8th, and today is a beautiful, lovely, wonderful day to be alive. Got up this morning fairly early, it wasn't as horrible as it had been, but um, I had a really bad start to my morning, one of those situations where things just luckily turned out fine, but man, it freaked me out to begin with. So, one of the dogs I'm watching is a little um, terrier named Q and our cue ball depending on who you talk to but it's spelt with a q not c-u-e but um went ahead and he sleeps right up against you no big deal but yeah seizures real bad and stuff and he had a real hit a seizure as we were going to bed last night we were already in bed and we were saying stuff he was up against my wife and he had a seizure and she basically felt him you know basically spazzing out so she gave him to me i was able to work through the seizure got that all settled out uh, best we could without stirring those dogs up because a lot of times they'll kind of start making weird noises and stuff and it gets the rest of the house brought up so I'm trying to keep that quiet and he made it through that fine but he's been having a lot more seizures lately than normal he's had one really really bad one with me one time where he had ice packs and stuff on him that trying to keep him overheating but it was just like, nothing else you can do for him it just sucks but this morning I wake up and he's not moving he's right in that weird spot where I'm trying to get him to move so I can roll over because he's kind of got me pinned I got little dots on one side of me, and then I got the little terrier on the other side of me. I came to move, and I'm like, shit, I think he's dead. Because there's a couple of noises I make that, little sounds I make that'll almost always you know, stir her up, and he's not moving. And I'm like, oh, shit. And instantly, my, I was like, God, I got a dead dog next to me. This sucks. But I had the momentary thought of, well, thank God it went. he went peacefully. He went in the night. Like, there was no struggling. Didn't wake me up. So clearly, there was no struggling and stuff. Because I'm a pretty light sleeper, especially when I have dogs in the bed with me. But... I was like, oh, come on, man. Don't be dead. Don't do this to me. So I had that little, like, just heart racing, just freaking out. I was able to finally get him up, and it took him a bit to, like, come out. I was like, it was almost like he was in one of those. When you sleep, you go into, like, a paralyzed. Your body releases a paralyzed chemical. So when you're, you don't punch yourself and walk, sleepwalk and kind of stuff and different things. And it's almost like he had that. Like, it took him a long time to come out of it. And I'm, by a long time, I mean, it was probably three minutes, like, before he started moving on i think i have a dead dog off me for three months now and i've got him picked up and like his head just flopped over like he's there's no muscle control at all i'm like oh shit unlike the when he's having the seizures his body's locked up and tight he's just loose like a limp rag doll and i'm like oh god damn it i don't want to make this phone call you know the owners are on a on a boat so they can't like something like they just drive back over and pick their dog up and you know whatever and whatnot either so i'm like god oh, this sucks i was just panicking he finally starts, I see his eyes moving. I'm like, wait a minute, is he still alive? And I was like, do I have to do like CPR to this dog? I'm like, I don't know what the hell, like kind of a little bit of a moment. And then he started moving around a little bit and he just, he drug, drugly got up and started moving and stuff. And then he came out of it and ran around, played, and got the rest of the dogs outside and everything's great. Fed, ate, played, chased, and was mean to some of the dogs, all kinds of crazy stuff. And I'm just like, the fuck are you doing this to me for, man? Like, why? Why would you do that? I didn't do nothing to you, man. I'm just trying to keep you happy, keep you healthy keep you you know content and then you go and scare the shit out of me like this so that was the start of my morning worse than any alarm you'll ever have and it's just no not cool at all so got up got him out got him fed got everybody else fed got it all just kind of settled in um takes a little while with all the dogs you gotta separate everybody out to get them all fed and that and got a couple dogs that when you don't want to go out or don't want to come in and don't know where they're going and stuff and just crazy craziness there rushing through doors and not everybody teaches their dog to wait at doorways and stuff like i try to and it's just crazy 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 so i got it all done hung around in the morning a little bit had a few things going on um end up i had to go walk a dog today I was supposed to walk the dog like 4 30 which was like no big deal i got a couple dogs the two pit bulls are going home today midday they're supposed to go home like 2 30 or 2 30 o'clock something i think it was so i'm like cool no big deal they'll be gone i'll have two less dogs in the house i'll run up and walk their dog it'll be good my wife wanted to go deliver some stuff to her father and basically drop off some stuff to him so she's gonna take off i'm like hey go whenever you want to doesn't matter to me whatever works best for you works for me and she's like okay cool so i went ahead and we chatted a little bit about it and whatnot and then i got a text from the people at the dog supposed to walk today and asked if i could walk the dog closer to one instead of 4 30 their work schedules got changed i was like shit that, that sucks because now i got people who might be coming in early at the dog got somebody else supposed to pick the dog up i'm just like ah, okay i'm like um plus i'm gonna have all the dogs here and whatnot and i'm not like taking off for very long with all the dogs here and stuff with my mom and my wife and that especially when you got, i mean there's a lot of dogs here like there's 
and we got called big pits and we got a saint bernard and we got a bulldog there's there's a lot of muscle a lot of strength in these dogs and if they're not kept in check it can get out of hand pretty easily and i don't want to have that be a situation where somebody else has to deal with that stuff so i went ahead and i'm like okay i'll make it work whatever so i was able to get a couple things done here and there and stuff decided i figured out how to do a, go about it um i was gonna go get my run in also so i got my run in uh, my wife decided to go up and see her father drop that stuff off and it was good um my mom was here with the dogs i put a couple dogs outside they're playing they're doing long greats so i had some dogs outside put a couple of the little tiny ones the one i thought was dead today put them in the bedroom because they get super defensive and they act up and they try and like attack the pit bull and stuff little tiny wiener dog and a little tiny ter uh, terrier attacking these giant pit bulls and it's just awful because especially when i'm not around they're more protective they get they get away with more shit my mom doesn't have the discipline over my deal so they act a fool especially on a couch with her and the other dogs come near they get all super defensive so i just took them in the bedroom by themselves for a little bit while i'm running everything's good to go there um went ahead and uh, my wife was on her way back from her dad's um no big deal there got done hang stuff hung out a little bit it's time to go um walk the dog so i'm like cool i'll take care of that so i got the dog walked and all i had was an address and i'd never been to the house yet i met the dog yesterday i get there and they said yeah i turned on here turn on here and it kind of like you're going through a gate and i thought they meant like there's a spot like the fence kind of comes but it wasn't our spot i'm looking for a key to the wrong house because there was no number on this house at all so i called her and i'm like hey it's the greenhouse and she didn't answer so i sent her stuff and whatnot and i was like oh what the hell so i went to the next house there's another like you drive through the yard into another house and that one had a house number on it so i hadn't realized at the right place so i got the key works in this house and i'm like okay we're all good got the dog a little walk um she never heard she's been having to roll her leg so we got a little walk in um going back towards town and she didn't want to walk too far so we went back out to they got they're on the water right in the intercoastal and we walked out they got this massive long boat ramp holy crap it's this little dock thing there not really a boat ramp sorry boat dock that goes way out like it's massive it's probably 65 yards maybe 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 more maybe less but it's pretty close to that at least it's a giant place we walked way out there and the dog kept stopping a little bit to sniff and look at fish and stuff we saw some dolphins swimming by hung out there a little bit ended up having myself part of a cigar and then from there wrapped it up headed back in the dog just looking at fish and having a good time beautiful view absolutely beautiful view but no yard to speak of i couldn't imagine living there but they're on an absolute dead end of a dead end of a dead end like the very last house and because it's kind of the way the driveway turns off and kind of drives to the other people's yard almost it looked like nobody turned on the driveway so it'd be the one spot out there i think i could really i could get into so i went ahead and put the dog back up everything was good there um had the dog i've been watching the uh, that i usually walk the dogs every week um i'd watched them for a little while and then she's back she booked for uh, monday through friday she's got a different job now uh, hank same profession it's a different union job so it's different hours so she's gonna be needing me to walk the dogs monday through friday instead of this monday through thursday so we got that going on so i got that booked out uh, had somebody else to reach out to was trying to do a meet and greet for i think it's four times i've camped just like no i'm like i'm done with you like i'm so done with you guys like i'm so over it i'm just no not doing it so i went ahead and got that taken care of um got my wife was back home got myself um went to go get a shower after my run and I got out of the shower, hang no big deal. I heard a commotion. The dogs were barking and stuff when I was in the shower. And I caught hard with the little ones. The little ones were being shitty. And I was like, what the hell? And sure enough, I had everybody. I put food out for everybody and kind of separated them all out with feeding while I was in the shower. Because the two pit bulls had went home finally. So they're gone. So I've got less dogs down in the house. No big deal. And then after I got out of the shower, I was putting on my clothes. My wife came in and informed me that one of the, the St. Bernard knocked my mom down, I guess. She was trying to let a dog in or let a dog out. I'm not sure what was going on exactly. But she opened the door, and part of the problem she shouldn't have been doing this is there's the little doodle still had his food outside, and the St. Bernard is food, like not aggressive, but food excited, I guess the best way. He's not really, he's getting a little bit defensive of it, but he just goes insane when he sees food. Like he's food driven, like massively. And she went to open the door, and I don't know why, she could have just left it. The dog was fine outside, everything was perfectly fine. But she went to open the door, and the St. Bernard just shot in, took her legs out. And as she was falling, she held onto the doorknob, I think. The door went flying around, knocked her on my ashtray, my cigar ashtray, knocked the cigar off and stuff, knocked my chair around. And she landed on her ass somehow, like on her back. Didn't hit her head, she said. Scraped her arm up pretty good and just twist her body around and stuff. So my wife told her, told me about it and whatnot, because she, she heard a commotion 
and she hollered out, are you okay? Because usually when there's a big commotion, you drop something or anything. The answer always comes back, yep, okay, yep. And I came back, nope. So your like, shit, she goes right there and got her up and stuff and it was fine, but kind of landed on her back and butt and kind of thinks I was worried about her hip and that whole thing and stuff and whatnot. And kind of told her, I'm like, well, just don't let the dogs out. Like that's, especially we've got ones that don't know door etiquette. You have to just deal with that kind of thing. So, but yeah, that's always a fun one. So yeah, we dealt with that. Um, at that point, um, I had a couple other things I needed to go do. Um, it was late enough and I was in that weird time frame. I'm like, I just don't care. I'm just, I'm going to go get, um, that's the, the pit bulls went home and stuff. I ran out and got another load of stuff from my father-in-law's storage unit and brought that back home. Got a bunch of that stuff in there. So the elevator is still semi broke, I guess it works, but there's no lights in it. So you're riding up and down the elevator in a dark blacked out elevator with one little tiny light that says one or two on it for what floor you're going to. So not the, not the most comfortable feeling thing, but it is what it is. So I got that load, got a load of that done. So I got somewhat taken care of, but got some stuff accomplished today, but it is what it is. By the time I got back from all that, it was pretty late and I just didn't really feel like eating anything. So I said, hell, that headed outside, played the dogs. Hung out there, had myself a nice little cigar, and then actually finished off the cigar my mom knocked over, and then I had myself another cigar, and then wrapped up, came in for the night. I was trying to say I was gonna eat anything, I hit anything all day. I ate dinner last night, but had anything all day, so I decided to have some chips and dip as like a midnight dinner, I guess. So I want to put some food in my body, and it's all good. So but yeah, that's pretty much my day. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.